Ready? So I realized I'm dumber than a third grader. I'm an overachiever and a quitter at the same time. Remember when we started the quarantine and you started creating a schedule for you and the kids? For every, every 20 minutes, that shit went out the window. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ajima Squad. We are encroaching off the one year anniversary of coronavirus and quarantine. Definitely something I do not want to have to celebrate ever again. So today, Joanne and I go down a rabbit hole about things that we've learned, things that have changed, and things that we hope for. So here we go. <laughs> I realized I'm not a baker, I'm not a planter. I killed all of my avocado trees, my lemon tree, all of my fruits and vegetables that we were supposed to be eating off of, gone. <sighs> um, how are your trees doing, by the way? They're doing healthy, they're thriving, right? My plants are alive. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not a baker. I don't do bread. I'm not, I'm not a yeast person. I don't do any of that. My pants don't fit me anymore. Stop. Oh, that's another thing that's changed. I really don't care what I'm wearing on the bottom anymore because I see everyone here test up. <laughs> Wait, so what did you learn in the last year or so about yourself? I have learned that I will never be a stay-at-home mom. Because <laughs> my kids drive me fashion crazy. I love them to pieces. Oh, absolutely. My kids are my world. Of course. But I have been with them. I mean, they go to their dads, but like, you know, like once a week and then every other weekend. So it's like I'm with them 24 seven. They're with me all day. They were with me all night. Like they're sleeping next to me. It's just I needed personal space. They just started going back to school. Maybe only for an hour and a half to two hours a day. I don't care. I will take it. And they look so much happier, too. They come home and they're like, yeah, because like at the do door, they're like, Ding I'm like, because hey. they, they don't know how to communicate it. But I think they also need their personal space and they need a social life themselves and they don't realize it, you oh, know, yeah, no, just like how much we crave it. And this is for you. I might need to buy a bidet. <laughs> I'll mention it while I'm eating. OK, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Ever since the whole toilet paper shortage, I'm like, you know what? I might just buy me a bidet. I am a procrastinator. Laundry is, it's, if anything, it's taking me longer to do my laundry now. Ba there's baskets all around my house. Oh, yeah. Hampers are like all over. And I'm just like, pick it up, put it in the hamper. But you know what? They're all overflowing. My love for 500 pound cats have grown even deeper. Why do you love 500 pound cats? Tiger King. <laughs> oh, I can't. Me. Actually, I you know what? His music was really catchy though. Now I foster three kitties in my house. Even Wait, though I thought you were allergic to them. I am allergic, but I'm in love with them. You have three cats in your house? Yes. Hey, Luke. Hi. Look. Peanut's like, now. Nah. It is the sweetest thing I love you. Oh my gosh, my kitty. get some clarity in here. <gasps> I know, I know. That's my beautiful cat. So, during quarantine, we've both turned into crazy cat ladies. Yes, and I'm in love with them. You got three, I got two. <sighs> um, yeah, so I went from becoming a hardcore cat lover to a hardcore hard seltzer drinker. I think everyone did. <laughs> but I'm really appreciative at the same time, the time that we have, because I count this as my extra summer, because you know, as a parent, you count down the summers. I don't know about you, but I count down my summers, how much summers I have. So this is an extended summer that I get, you know? Okay. So, What's changed for you over 2020? I, I did realize that I miss human connection. Like I, I really feel. miss, you know, the human, physical, social connection. And uh, I I'm can, a hugger. It's been difficult for me. Oh, yeah. You don't realize that human connection is such a thing. It's a real, real thing, you know? We need it. It's, affection is important. 
I learned that I have threshold for everything. I have experienced burnout like I've never experienced before. Mm. Um, I've learned that I'm a emotional eater because I have gained like 15 pounds during this year. It's also because people don't have structure right now. They don't know when that structure is going to come back. I've also learned that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. Yeah. That, that's one thing. Like, I'm like, but you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I mean, I think that's really true. I also learned, I think through this quarantine, I think I learned that we are stronger in numbers. Um, I love the idea of solidarity and equality and diversity that came out of all of these movements that happened during this past year. It ignited so much. That's the word I want to use. It ignited this from a spark into a flame. And I think it needed to happen. Not the best time for it to happen. <laughs> Things that were pent up is now finally coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, coming out and people are, have the attention span to now really look at what's going on. You wouldn't have that luxury to be able to educate yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise at home, I'm a f***ing mess. I am too. I, I am a shit show. I am like category five shit show right now. Like legit. It was actually, I, you know what was nice? was like, usually we would get try to like find a day to get together to do like a girls night in or something or a girls night or even just like get together. But yeah. we did that over FaceTime and we had such a good time. I know. I had, I, I think I had the most wonderful conversations with you just doing Zoom calls and just laughing our asses off and being dumbasses in our in my closet and, you know. In conclusion, thank you so much for watching as we discuss what we learned about during quarantine, what we learned about ourselves during quarantine. Um, and we hope to see you again next time. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye. Bye bye now. Peace out 2020 and quarantine and COVID 19. Don't ever come back. Through that. <laughs> How about you? What have you learned in the past year since the quarantine started, Kelly? <laughs> what, <the hell> <laughs> what is that? It looks like a fishing rod. It's like a, fishing, it's like a furry fishing rod with this thing. Do they love this thing? I need to get me one. Even I like it. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I need to get me one. <laughs>